So vitamin D, why the hype? Ah. So think about that feeling you get when you're spending a few days on the beach. Is it the warm sand on your toes, the warm and salty breeze, or is it that chemical reaction that takes place under your skin when your vitamin D level is activated into a powerhouse, biologically influential hormone called D3? It's the production of D3 made in your skin with direct sun exposure. So here's a list of signs and symptoms of vitamin D deficiency to reveal why it is so important and vital to your health and optimal body function. Fatigue, joint and bone pain, muscle spasm, weakness, uncontrolled weight gain, high blood pressure, restless and poor sleep, uh, poor concentration and memory, depressed mood, headaches, bowel problems like diarrhea, constipation, or even both, bladder problems like urgency, frequency, depression, and seasonal affective disorder, fibromyalgia, Parkinson's disease, Alzheimer's disease, arthritis, gout, tendonitis, bursitis, osteoporosis, osteoarthritis, gum disease and tooth loss, obesity, diabetes, uh, heart disease, metabolic syndrome, and autoimmune diseases like uh, lupus and MS. Even cancers like breast, prostate, colon, and the skin are directly related to vitamin D deficiencies. So why all the hype with this vitamin D? First of all, it's not actually a vitamin, it's really a hormone. This means it has direct influence on almost every cell in our bodies. The chemical structure is very similar to other hormones like testosterone or estrogen, uh, as they are produced from the same starting molecule. The scary thing is that most of us living above the 30th parallel have levels that are actually not optimized to prevent and treat those diseases I listed before. You have to spend most of your day lying in a speedo in direct sunlight in your front yard, and unfortunately, your levels will still not be optimized. Studies show that the optimal level of your blood to prevent chronic disease and to optimize function is around 60 to 70. Many of my patients I see with pain, fatigue, and arthritis problems never have their levels checked or they're told by their doctor that the results are within the normal range. The problem is that a blood level that is normal is between 30 and 100. And remember that normal is not optimal. If your level is 35, you may be told that you don't need vitamin D because you're normal. By the way, last summer my level was 38, and I spent my whole summer in a swimsuit. Uh, the level may be in the normal range, but I definitely was a long way from being optimal. Keep in mind, though, that too much of a good thing is not always better. It is very important to keep your levels in that optimal range. Not too low, but definitely not too high. Once you're started on vitamin D, it's important to recheck your blood levels over a few months to target the range needed for top performance. If you knew you could do something that would decrease your weight, blood pressure, and diabetes risk, decrease your risk of cancer, prostate, breast, and colon, decrease your pain, arthritis, and risk of osteoporosis, increase your energy and mood, and increase your overall quality of sleep, it would be pretty silly not to take advantage of that fountain of youth. Yet only a small fraction of us take advantage of the powers uh, of vitamin D. Mary, she was a patient of mine here at Rejuve, came to see me for the treatment of her arthritic and painful knees. Over the years of dealing with pain and arthritic, uh, orthopedic concerns, we have discovered that we do our patients really a disservice if we don't address the other important issues that contribute to the pain and arthritis. We're, we're only really doing them a fraction of the service we could be. So we checked her vitamin D level, and her level was 32. It was in the normal range, but not optimized to deal with her decreasing bone density, arthritis, and overall lack of energy and fatigue. We treated her knee with prolotherapy injections and started her on the appropriate dose of vitamin D based on her blood level. Two months later, her levels were 56, and she had return energy and zeal and was enjoying life again, without pain or fatigue. It is important that we treat our bodies better, um, better than you would your car. So for example, if the tank in your car was running low, you would probably check the fluid levels. We should do the same thing with our bodies, so we can restore the vitality and prolong our insurance life. You can always exchange your car for a younger model, but you only have one body. Obtain an ideal body weight, Eat well, and be informed of the latest discoveries in the current medical literature.